Shout out, shout out John Hollinger for this information. I literally just choked right there. But let's get right into today's video. So John Hollinger wrote a nice little piece for The Athletic called Five Kevin Durant Trades That Make Sense or Some Sense. So I'm here with my dark chocolate Nest Quick Milk. Shout out to them. And let's get right into today's video talking about what are they going to try to know. Somebody's going to hate that. Be, anyway, like and subscribe. So, obviously, we you know Kyrie is forcing his way to the Lakers. And my, one might say this is very reminiscent to the Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, you know. I feel, I don't know. I don't think it's reminiscent. Okay, you remember when Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett were trying to force their way out? But that, like, ended up being great for the Nets. So, not for the Nets, for the Celtics. It ended up being terrible for the Nets. Let's just disregard I said this. Either way, let's talk about the tricky Phoenix deal. So, DeAndre Ayton remains unsigned, which is very interesting. So, basically... The Nets are too far past a luxury tax deal to take back Aiden in a sign and trade. And second, that Aiden's base year status prevents Phoenix from taking back all of his first year salary as a match. With that being said, adding a guy like Royce O'Neal and paying Nick Claxton starting level money makes it difficult for them to do a Suns trade, in my opinion. And for me, if they want to do a Suns trade, you have to get somebody like the Utah Jazz into this deal so you can send some players to the Jazz. So basically, like John Holger suggests that if they add Durant to match, they'd either have to do that by using Mikhail Bridges, Cam Johnson, or a combination of Jay Crowder, Cameron Payne, and Cam Johnson to do this same move and skirt the luxury tax. They could also add Landry Shamet. And then Utah can pull this deal off by folding the Gobert trade into one single mega deal where they acquire DeAndre Aiden and send out some draft equity from Minnesota to the Suns and then ship out 15 to $20 million in salary. Let's say like Boyan Bogdanovich, Mike Conley, or one of Malik Beasley, Pat Bev, and Rudy Gay. And then that would send like a bunch of assets to the Suns with Kevin Durant included going to the Suns, some assets to the Nets, and then some assets to the Jazz, which... That would just be very hard. And in this case, you would have to have all these pick swaps. Basically, long story short, if they some this would have to be some super mega deal, and it would basically be pretty, pretty hard to do that. I'm just letting you guys know this Phoenix Suns deal is just pretty hard. It would just involve so many loopholes jumping that salary cap wise, the Nets and Suns can't do it without getting a team like the Utah Jazz or the Oklahoma City Thunder or somebody with a bunch of cap space, the San Antonio Spurs, into the deal. It has to be a three-team deal for the Suns to do it. Now, the Miami Heat, for stars, Durant, Durant wants to play with Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo can't be part of the deal because of that designated rookie deal that the CBA provision doesn't allow. So there's one way around this, putting Simmons in the trade, and obviously Miami doesn't probably want him. So, Simmons would obviously be Miami's DeAndre Jordan in this case. So, if Miami sends out arguably Bam Adebayo, Kyle Lowry, Duncan Robinson, Tyler Hero, two unprotected first round picks in 2023 and 2028, and three pick swaps of 2024, 2027, and 2029 for Durant, Simmons, and Seth Curry, would you do that? No, I feel like you just gutted the Miami Heat, but it's possible. It's possible. Now, of course, the Lakers double feature. There's only one way you could do this. It's by sending Anthony Davis to the Nets. And the single best player Brooklyn could get in realistically any trade scenario is this. And he signed for two more years. So the entire package would be Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook. Their unprotected picks in 2027 and 2029 then pick swaps in 2026 and 2028 four second round picks and max christie for kyrie irving and kevin durant obviously you could say that besides lebron james and damian jones you don't have a center and the return is pretty underwhelming for the nets compared to some other deals so i don't see a lakers double feature going down now the Kawhi combo so you could look at a deal where like Paul George goes to the Nets, allowing them to live another day. Like Davis above, he has two years left on his deal. Now they could also add Terrence Mann, Brandon Boston, 
some unprotected first round picks in 2028 and then 2027 and 2029 be pick swaps and they could add norman powell for joe harris swap so the deal would be like paul george terrence mann basically two picks and two pick swaps norman powell for joe harris and durant it's not a bad deal right there could be worse and then you got yourself the toronto raptors i'm not no toronto raptors are not putting scotty barnes but basically this would be including a combination of either Pascal Siakam and Fred Van Vliet or Pascal Siakam and OG Ananobi or Fred Van Vliet and OG Ananobi. And if they did this, I personally think a swap of Siakam, an all-NBA player with two more years, Gary Trent Jr., and some picks, like three firsts and two pick swaps for Durant and Joe Harris would be right in the right ballpark. They could even throw in Kem Birch and not take back Harris. I mean... These deals are all in the eyes of the beholder. But in theory, they could work out very well. And we could see our boy playing in a Raptors jersey or something along that. I don't I don't even know what would be the best thing. That's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. How would what would you guys do for this? Okay? Like what's the what is the right move for y'all? I just think it's such an interesting situation we're looking at. Because it's just kind of something we haven't seen before. Where two guys just force their way out at the same time. So, all in all, we'll end up seeing what the frick happens with all of this. I think it'll be pretty interesting. So, definitely where I want to hear your thoughts down below. I love y'all.